We sold everything. We left our office, our car, and the place we've called home for the last six years. And now we're in sort of a weird place where one chapter has ended, but the next has yet to start. And our new boat is being built, and we'll talk more about that later, including when and where we'll pick that up. But in the meantime, we're in limbo. And I loathe this phase of life because it feels like chaos. My heart beats like a war drum, just signaling all the anxiety to come marching down because now we're untethered. We don't have a home and what you are gonna do with yourselves now? On one hand, you know, it's so freeing to have nothing more than a suitcase, but on the other, it is unnerving. Like we're a feather blowing in the wind, uncertain of where we're gonna land. And I just feel like there's nothing else to do but embrace the aimlessness, right? Because it doesn't have to be a destination or even a purpose right now. So let's just go and see. And we've got a few weeks before our visas expire. So let's just go on a road trip to nowhere in particular. So welcome to the South Island of New Zealand. Woo! We made it to the top. <laughs> this is the steepest street in the entire world. <sighs> Welcome to the breast roadside attraction in New Zealand. He so does not care that we're here. Look at that, it's a black sheep. Oh my God, can you see them? I can totally see them. Oh my God, they're so cute. So I should introduce you to our ride. It's a Toyota FJ Cruiser. And as one of our patrons pointed out, sticks out like a zebra and a chili patch, which I thought was pretty funny. Obviously, it's the Pete's Lemonade Mobile. You drive on this side. needed. What are you up there? Barely see you. There's a piece of grass. <laughs> it's just a pine. <laughs> ah, you were so disappointed. I thought that was a shrimp thing. There are some anemones in there. Oh my god, it's so long. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Hello, geese. <laughs> there's a bird making a lot of racket there. And there's a seal perched on this rock right up here. He so does not care that we're here. No. <laughs> that bird is cracking me up. Hi. How are you? So there's a bunch of seal caves over there, which we can't get to, but I guess he swam over. 
up. He's like, what is that bird going on about? I'm trying to get a nap over here. Yeah, look at you. Oh, big boy. Yeah. Oh, you are so cute. Well, our goal here was to walk to the end, but uh, he says no. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> he says, hell no. So I think this is the end of the trail for us. He looks so sweet and so soft, like silky soft. It makes you want to just go snuggle with him, but I, I don't think he wants us to snuggle. No. He wants to sleep. Yeah, and I don't want to upset him or make him mad by trying to walk past him because I think it'll be a little too invasive for him. So we'll turn around. Oy. <laughs> and back asleep. Based on the poop all around Nikki, we think that these holes are probably penguin homes. The penguins don't want to play today. They're busy. We need to take a minute to thank Surfshark VPN for continuing to sponsor our channel. Now, if you've never heard of Surfshark, it is an app and web browser extension that allows us to change our IP address to virtually place ourselves anywhere in the world to unblock websites and content that we couldn't access otherwise. And you would be amazed at how many countries block certain apps and websites. We have needed Surfshark to get around YouTube live streaming blocks in certain countries. Ecuador is blocking YouTube live chat. We've used it to download and sign up for apps like Venmo. And of course, it's what we use to unblock streaming sites like Netflix and Amazon Prime. Plus, Surfshark serves as our ad blocker and they encrypt all of our data so that we can surf in a clean cyber ocean with no trackers, ads, malware, or phishing attempts. In other words, if we didn't have a VPN, our digital lives would be a lot more complicated. And right now, if you use our discount code WINS, you get 83% off plus three extra months for free. And if you're not sure if it's a good tool for you, no worries, they offer a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk to try it out. Just click the link down in the description or you can scan the QR code on the screen. Oh, it still is. It just looks so boring. I know, right? That, that is not boring. Jeez, that's amazing. Beautiful. There's a couple of whales out there. It's all blowable. Yep. 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 Do you have them? I think so. <laughs> I'll do the sound effects since they're so far away. <laughs> Seals. You see them? Oh, one just jumped back oh, in. Oh, yeah, I see them. They're just using that as like their personal pool. Swimming pool. Oh, there's another little pool and there's women in there too. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> Splashing around. What a paradise for them. Why swim in the ocean when you can swim in your own pool? Okay, just to give you a little perspective, so this is what we're looking at. Here, I'll get a wide shot. Okay. Oh, they're all just rolling around and having the best time. I want to go. There's sleeping seals right there. What do you think? Penguins, maybe? Penguins. Go on for penguins. It's 
absolutely beautiful and it makes me wish that we could come back in the summertime. I suppose we can one day because I would be all up in and around here, but it's a little cold to get in the water and we're not exactly dressed proper for it. You could spend weeks and weeks and weeks just in and out of all these little bays by boat would be obviously the dream, but rough weather on this side. It would be hard to, to make it happen, but you could do it. It would be worth it. Bucket list. Always exciting with a big camera. You see that wind whipping on the water. Not wide enough. Oh, <laughs> it's coming out right where that line of like clouds and dark meets, and then the sea just disappears. Good day. That was a good day. All this time driving and hiking has given us a lot of time to prioritize some of the big accomplishments that we've been wanting to do. And well, now that we're untethered, it seems like a good time. And definitely the first thing that we need to do when we fly back to the USA is to visit family because it's been over two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, some of our family members have passed on while others have been born and we've literally never met them. It's just wild. So that's definitely on our top personal priority. Yeah, it's very important. And then in between all of that, we're hoping to, all of that, and I say all of that because it's like five oh, yeah. different states we need to, to get to. California, we're based New Mexico, Texas, Arkansas, and Carol, South Carolina. Yeah, I know, yeah. So, and that's just What's close family, yeah, yeah. Your immediate family. Yeah. Okay, we won't go there yet. But anyway, in between all of that, we're hoping to get in some performance sailing. So we've got a couple of feelers out there um, on some multi holes because obviously our next boat is going to be a little bit of a step up. So we would like to improve our skills in that arena. So if you've got a performance <laughs> multi hole and you're looking for some crew members, it is up. We also want to do some wilderness medical training and we found a couple outfitters that do that in the US. It's basically to up our game, become certified first responders. So that way when we're out to sea or we're on these remote islands with very little services, we can take care of ourselves. Feel a bit more confident yeah. in our skills for sure. And maybe even have a little confidence so we can help if there is an emergency on the island. And we still have a lot of decisions that still need to be made for the new boat. A lot of things we still have to finalize, pick out like our sails. We don't know what we're doing there our yet. Electric tender. Yeah, dingy. So there's still stuff there. And then speaking of the boat. The big question. When and where? I had a talk with Hudson. So Hudson is one H of HH mm -hmm. and the other is Paul Hake the builder. So Hudson said, we're going to have your birthday. No, we're, we're going to have the boat ready for your birthday. My birthday is on June 22nd. So Hudson, we're holding you to it. We, uh, not, no, no pressure. Stuff can happen. We're not really holding you to it, but that would be great. But, but we are yeah. sort of going to hold you to it. Yeah. <laughs> so we have essentially about nine months before we need to fly out and finish the build process. The and... sea trials and actually take possession of the new boat. And where, uh, I think we'll probably just take delivery at the factory in the Philippines. Yes. It's, it's just been, great cruising yeah. grounds. We haven't cruised that yeah. area. We have not ever been to the Philippines <laughs> we yet. We watched plenty of videos about it. <laughs> yeah. Whale sharks are there. So that's, you know, there's so many things that would be amazing to explore and see and do. So we'll start the adventure most likely there, but don't hold us to that because anything can change in that time frame. We're very excited as well as overwhelmed. That nine months is gonna go by really fast. Yeah. I think it's yeah. gonna be a blink. We are so fortunate to be able to live this life. Even though we're untethered right now, uh, we know that, and we want you to know that we are so grateful for having you along with us, for being part of our journey. It is a privilege yeah. to, to have this much freedom um, and to be able to do any of this. Yeah. So just know that it is not lost on us. We are aware of what we have and that's pretty um, amazing so Freaking thank awesome. you yeah thank you very much as long as you keep showing up so will we next stop yeah. camera jiggled a bit 
<laughs> uh, thanks guys. <laughs>